welcome to this first part of the number collective tackle um yeah i mean i'm starting this in may i hope i won't post this until christmas <laughs> because i don't want to buy so much tack anymore um basically i have what i need uh, more or less so um we'll see how long this one gets um what i did buy was i've been looking at for a rug that's like a drying rug but like i don't want a fleece rug uh because fleece fabrics shed microplastics into the ocean into the water rivers uh into animals and into the soil and i don't want to like contribute to that pollution more than i need to and i need to buy some plastic made fabrics for like rugs for the horses as in outdoor rugs um rain gear like some of these things i have to buy so so what i don't need i choose not to buy um so the thermotech text is wool but uh, what i found is one that's half wool and half um yeah acrylic yeah acrylic it says acrylic so um it's from the brand Jaime it's a Norwegian brand actually and it is a dark navy with like a navy and white and like pale blue lining it's one of these rugs like this it does have the um non rub fabric at the front and it has sir singles and two uh, um, fastenings at the front and i ordered it in 125 so i hope that this fits and uh yeah you just listen to me rant about how i don't want anything in fleece fabrics and uh, I bought a fleece rug. To be fair, I have tried. Like, I've looked at wool rugs, um, wool blankets, uh, cotton rugs, any kind of rug that's not fleece in red, because I wanted uh, something in red to use for Christmas. Uh, the thing is, in Norway, it's so cold, usually around Christmas, and it doesn't really matter what type of saddle pad you have on the horse, because you normally have to ride it with a rug anyway, uh, so it doesn't show up. So I thought it would be nice to have something a bit festive. Uh, I would have preferred like a plain red rug, but uh, this was on sale. It cost me like a hundred kroner, which is nothing which is why i bought it so um it's like i don't really want to take it out of the plastic I just, let's see so it has like the sir single fastening at the front and it has this like fake fur edge and um yeah, it's got like sir singles under the belly, which I probably cut off. So I did try my best, but I couldn't find anything else. So I got this and it will not be washed. Uh, I'll just keep it for like that part of the year and never wash it. And it'll shed at least a little less microplastics. A lot of the shedding happens when you wash it. Uh, although they do shed other times as well but i will try and just use it when it's christmas 
could I have not bought this? Yes, I could. Like, I love Christmas and I love spreading some joy and festivities to the people surrounding the barn. And uh, yeah, this is like one of the ways I can do it. So now we are on the second part of this collective tackle. Um, I'm just going to show you the not so interesting things first. So I bought these two bags from Klaas Ulsson uh, to keep rugs in because some of the rugs didn't come in like good bags. So I just bought these two, they're size medium. I think they will be good for like the smaller uh, rugs. And I also bought this top. Uh, it's two of them and it's white. I was looking for blue top to use as like training for like a water tray sort of thing for jumping but uh, I figured white would work and I could just maybe paint something on it. I don't know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna take this to the hardware store and ask them if I can paint on it and if not then I'm just gonna return it. <laughs> the next thing I got is another rug. Yeah, I know. I don't need more rugs now. I just, maybe I have a problem with rugs as well, not just saddle pads. This is a 30 gram rain sheet with a neck and it has the, I don't know if you can see it, but like there's a hook fastening, not the disc fastening, the new one that the horseware rugs have. Because I don't like that one, I, it doesn't feel very sturdy. So I like the hook fastening, which is why I bought a 30 gram. I just really wanted a zero, but I can't find it anywhere. So yeah, so and it has like a neck and it has the fastening for the liner system. So I think it will be good. And this is in a size 130 or uh, 6.1 or 7.2. I don't know. And uh, finally, um, this is kind of stupid, but like, Prikin has a fly mask that I really, really like. I tried to buy one last year and they sold out and they haven't had it in all winter and I ordered it. I don't know if you've seen in my previous haul where I ordered, uh, said I ordered a fly mask and it didn't come. Well, now I bought two. <laughs> um, I just bought uh, one in pony and one in cub because Pekin has pony and she's a horse. So I figured if the pony fits, then yeah. If the cub fits, then Pekin can have the pony one. And... Um, yeah, I could always sell them when they're new. Uh, they're really, really good. And I'm going to put a picture in of them here now. Uh, because I really like, sorry, I really like that they don't have any ear cover and it's lots of room for the forelock. Um, in case you don't know, I probably will end up with a horse with a lot of hair. <laughs> Uh, if my finances doesn't magically quadruple. So yeah, so that was it for this time. I'll see you in a second. So I just figured I'd show you guys really quickly. I got new syrups or almost new syrups for free uh, because some people at the barn were like cleaning out their stuff. So these flex only one way and they don't have stirrup pads, but I'm going to take them to the tag shop and uh, get new stirrup pads for them and they'll be good as new. I also snagged this little beauty. Um, it's simply uh, for bikes. Like you put it on your bike and it lights up. But if you put it on your high vis vest and you turn it on, the cars will see you. It will be much more visible than just with high vis 
and these are quite expensive and I got them for it for free so I'm happy okay so this is the next part of this collective tackle um I uh, went to Hux to get one thing <laughs> came back with three um and I got stuff <laughs> okay so let me show you guys so I bought this Hux bag to carry it in because they only have paper bags and they rip so I thought this was much better because I was going to the barn and then going home so so this is what I went to Hux to get this is a back on track uh, back support warmer thingy so you put it around your waist like that because um, <clears throat> I have from time to time and it's a bit more and more I've had some back pain in my lower back and so I wanted to get this because I've had success with other back on track products before like I had this elbow was non-functional and I had have this back on track thing for your elbow and it helped a lot so I bought this because they had 20% on back on track so I figured I would try using this and see if this could help uh, it's like hurting right now because I'm not leaning into the uh, cupboard behind me and then uh, I wanted to like check the um, Escadron Pony dress ash they had there because I was there and I looked at it and I thought it looked very small and so um, I was like have they changed the um, design size on Pony Dressage in Escadron and um, then I measured a saddle pad so I went there to measure that one just to see if I was correct or not and it isn't I don't think it is smaller than the one I have it just looks smaller so I bought it um, it looks like this it's just a navy uh, a cotton pad with like a little glittery um, like uh, just part of the binding is glittery nothing special underneath just cotton yeah so um, um, I, I wanted this when I saw it but I was like I thought it was too small so uh, it does appear to be the right size but I am just currently washing my other escadron pony pad because I felt like this that one was bigger so I'm gonna measure it up against that one later to see if I was right or wrong and uh, of course when I was standing there and uh, looking at this pad I saw that they had another pony dressage pad oh this is in cob that I looked at online and I thought it looked really gorgeous but I've been like no don't buy any more saddle pads don't buy any more saddle pads just like click away click away and I couldn't help myself so um, it looks like this it is in grey cotton and it has this navy binding and a white and navy piping and this little Trinity brand. Uh, Trinity is one of the um, collections that Herx has. Um, it has like short billow straps, <coughs> a little bit of a girth protection there and uh, the underside is just a waffle. So um, yeah I was looking at this online like I said and I Managed to avoid it then, but I couldn't avoid it anymore, uh, so I got it. And, yeah, I definitely do not need any more saddle pads. Only saddle pad I'm allowed to buy now 
if I don't sell a couple, is a white dressage for shows if I need it. Nothing else. Let's hope I can keep this promise. Okay guys, so this is the final part of this collective tackle. I just ran down to the uh, post collection site um, because I got a message uh, that my box was there. So I have this box from Horse and I uh, have ordered some stuff and Chicken's owner it has ordered some stuff. So uh, yeah. Let's see what's in here. So the first thing is Pickens owner ordered another cell pad. Um, it is identical to the turquoise one that you might have seen us ride with. Um, I ordered a sponge because I thought they looked good, they were like, they were like multiple colours and I only have yellow ones, I thought it would be a great thing to have some different colours just so that you can know which one is for face, which one is for nose, which one is for unmentionables, <laughs> you know? Um, so I ordered this one just to see what size they were um, and they're not too small, I mean I wish they were a little bigger at least for the price. I mean, the Herx sponges, I think, are 10 kroner. This one was 29 on sale. <laughs> it's usually 39. I think that's kind of expensive. So I'm probably just going to, like, keep looking to see if I can find some more big sponges in different colours. Um, but it's not something that I've seen a lot of. So, yeah. <laughs> um, next... I got another head collar. This is um, open the plastic first and then you can talk, right? This is <laughs> this is the cob size of the one I ordered the last time. And this actually looks more like a full and this actually looks like it will fit. So I might actually sell the other one and order another one in cob, I don't know. This is much smaller. Uh, it has like the leather crown piece. It's not that easy to get these kinds of head collars in Norway. They're not common at all. And uh, I would prefer to have these just because of the safety with the leather and the breakaway. So um, yeah. Um, We'll see what I do. And uh, the final thing is not as exciting, but I um, got some free stirrups at the barn because some of the other ones were like chucking a lot of stuff away and they didn't have any stirrup threads. So what are these black ones from Sprenger that I hope will fit? like this so I'm just gonna see if they fit so here are the stirrups here are the stirrup leather no leather it's not leathers treads so I got them to fit which is brilliant um I had to like pull these up a little bit uh, to get them to fit at the bottom, as you can see. Um, so that is super. Now I have <laughs> another set of syrups and they bend this way. So that was all for this collective tackle. I hope you enjoyed this video. I personally love, love tackles and I would love to hear from you guys. And if you have the time, please watch one or two of my other videos. I'm a smallish channel and I don't get a lot of views, so that would mean the, a lot for, to me. Uh, please comment, like and subscribe. 
and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!